Look at the brakes for a second. How much brake am I pulling? Little tiny quarter inch. Left, right, left. Both brakes, left, right, right, left, left, right, right, left. Small, tiny little corrections. Constantly pushing against the brake so that loading is always there. Pushing smooth. Elbows relaxed, arms. Brakes are pushing straight down towards the ground. Bingo. And wham, there's another piece. So let's do that again. Here we go. If I feel the pressure drop, bam, my hand drops. As long as my hand drops with the pressure, the glider doesn't want to collapse. Whoa, okay, now I'm gonna close my eyes. My eyes are closed. Eyes are closed. Bang. Same thing. Doesn't matter if your eyes are closed or eyes are open. It's the same diff. You can close your eyes and it's exactly the same feeling. If the pressure drops, boom, hands drop right along with it. Hands drop with it. And no collapse. If it tries to collapse, you just bring the back of the glider down with the front and keep the back below the front. No collapse. Anytime it collapses, it's simply because you didn't add brakes. So all those guys collapsing and falling out of the sky and pounding in face first, they simply didn't learn skill from their instructor. Their instructor did not do their job of teaching them how to prevent collapses. How do you prevent collapses? You come out to the beach and you sit here and you kite with masterful instruction. It's not practice that makes perfect, it's perfect practice. You can kite for 15 years and if you don't do it correctly, you're still not gonna be able to do it right. So it's all about going to super training where you master every piece into those reflexes and pretty soon you can fly down the Grand Canyon in 100 degree temperatures in the middle of the day in 25 mile an hour winds and fly through a rotor and not take a collapse because if the glider tries to collapse, boom, harder. Again. Front comes down, back goes down with it. Anytime. Do it again, do it again. <laughs> there you go. Again, there you go. Even if you hold it, just don't hold it so long it stalls, but do it again. Just hold the egg. Bam. Your hand should automatically hold the pressure. It's only when the pressure drops that the glider actually collapses. But now, oh, okay, I was gonna say I, will, I won't react. Okay, now I'm not gonna react. So now I'm gonna pretend I'm a newbie. Boom, see, the glider will collapse absolutely if you don't know what the freak you're doing. Woohoo! Bingo. So let's do that again. This time I will not, I won't prevent it. So front falls down, boom, it's effortless. It collapses, no problem. That's what it's supposed to do, no worries. But that's why you're not supposed to fly a paraglider until you learn how to control it. But sadly, there just aren't people out there teaching this type of skill. They're not teaching people how to properly control a glider. So now let's do the collapse. Go ahead and pull it down and just hold it for a minute. Well, for a sec. Again, as the pressure drops, my hand, the brake pressure drops with it and prevents the collapse. Uh, let's see, uh, Miguel, why don't you come over so we can back up a little for the camera? Yep. There you go, now come pull my A. Yep. Yanking A, either one. skill it's all about controlling the altitude of your butt with the glider now if i stood here lock-legged like everybody else and just yanked left and right even the slightest little bit could cause the collapse let's do it again this is cool go ahead miguel yep anytime boom 